Hi, it's Julia Marie. Thanks for taking time for yourself. You'll leave this video feeling more calm and centered. So in this video, I have for you a meditation as well as some release for your neck and shoulders. I hope you enjoy. Start by taking a few deep breaths. Fill up completely and allow the exhales to come out in open mouth and then bring your hands to your heart. Good. Allow your eyes to close and lift your sternum up into your thumbs so you feel connection between your chest and your hands. And as you continue to breathe, allow the muscles in your face to soften, the muscles in the base of your neck to soften. Good. From here, you'll take a Garuda Mudra or Eagle Mudra, linking your thumbs and then spread your fingers across your chest like eagle wings. Breathe into your chest so you feel your chest rise into your palms. You may even be able to feel your own heartbeat. And notice how deep breathing allows your heartbeat to slow and to relax. And now open your palms forward like you're holding a handful of flowers or you're holding some water in your palms. Be open to receiving relaxation and release. Return your hands to prayer and bring your thumbs to your chest and allow your eyes to softly open. On your inhale, reach your arms up. Good, and then bring your hands back to your heart. Continue with the breath. On the inhale, reach your arms high and tall. And on your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Sweep your arms up, a big, bright breath. Bring your hands to your heart. On your inhale, bring your arms up. On your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Good. On your next breath and reach up and then turn over your left shoulder. Allow the back hand to be like a second spine growing tall through the heart. And the hand on your thigh docks. Reach your back arm now up by your ear, cross it down in front of the body and cat your back so the arms make an X in front of your body. Good. On your next breath in, sweep your arms up tall and we'll take that to the other side. Twist and rotate, front hand to the opposite thigh, back hand like a second spine, allowing you to lift tall through the chest. Keep your hand docked on your thigh. And then lift your back arm up by your ear, cross it down in front of your body, making an X with the arms, and then cat the upper back, pulling the shoulder blades forward, and allowing the back of the heart to breathe. Good. On your next breath in, lift up, reach your arms up overhead, and then bring a prayer back to your heart. Good. And then release your hands down to your thighs. Dock your right fingertips next to your body and lift your left arm up and over. Feel a side stretch through the left side and breathe big into your left lung. Good, release that side. Then dock your left hand down, lift up and over through your right side. Growing long in the waist, breathe deeply into the right side body your neck allows, you can gaze up. Good. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Then take eagle with the right arm underneath the left, crossing at the elbows and the wrists, or you can just bear hug. Slide the elbows over to one side and gaze in the opposite direction, so you're just getting a deeper stretch through the shoulders. Good. Bring the elbows back to the center. And now lift your elbows slightly up towards the sky pulling the shoulder blades forward and allowing the space between the shoulder blades to receive a big stretch. Good, release your hands to your heart and roll your shoulders back a few times to let the eagle come out of the shoulders. Great, we're gonna take that on the other side, lift your arms up high and then eagle with the left arm underneath the right. You're still sitting tall in the spine. Slightly slide your elbows to the left, gaze in the opposite direction, feel a deep stretch across the right shoulder. Nice work. 
Bring your elbows back to center and release the bind. Again, roll your shoulders back a few times to let go of that deep eagle stretch. Now, tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. Take your right hand gently overhead. No need to pull, but as you bring your fingertips towards your ear, the weight of your right arm will be plenty. You can always step your left fingertips out for a little additional release through the shoulder and neck. Good, come back to center. And then tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. Your left hand can come up overhead, fingertips near your ear, like you're making a little frame or box around your head. No need to pull, the weight of your arm is plenty. Breathe into a really nice sensation for the neck. Great work. Now cross your left arm across your chest. Bind your right forearm or elbow around the opposite forearm so that you're receiving a stretch across the front and side and back of your left shoulder. Good, now sweep your left arm up and overhead, bend at your elbow and try to touch your upper back with your left hand. Your right hand will make a frame around your head for a tricep stretch. Release the tricep stretch and take the deltoid stretch for the right arm. Sling the right arm across the heart, bind it with your left arm. Feel the stretch for your shoulder wrap around all the way into the back part of your shoulder. Continue to breathe. And then take the tricep stretch for your right side. So touch your upper back with your right hand, frame the head with your left arm, and a gentle pull, nothing too strong. Just breathe into where you feel sensation. It should feel nice and not alarming. Good, release your hands to your heart. We'll take a big expansion for the front body. So come into reverse tabletop, knees over your ankles, hands under your shoulders, lift your seat up and stretch across the chest. So a little bit of support from the back body and the front body to keep your torso suspended. Go wide across your collarbones and release your seat back down. Good, come back to your easy seat with your sit bones rooted and your spine tall and allow a big exhale. Draw your thumb knuckles to mind's eye, lift your brow and then bow forward and seal in the effort of your meditation and your shoulder release today. Thanks for joining me, and namaste. Hey it's Julia, and welcome to my 30 day yoga for weight loss program. I've designed this program to help you live more optimally. In addition to 30 days of yoga, you will find bonus tips and homework assignments at the end of each video to help you stay on track. You did it! In fact, we've created a really balanced program. This means you are going to be addressing all aspects of your well-being, from your physicality all the way to how are you feeling mentally and emotionally throughout the entire 30 days. We're starting right here from the ground on up to build a practice that you can sustain day in, day out for your whole life. But let's just start with 30 days. I can't wait to get started with you and I'll see you on your mat.